Hello friends, this video on basic concepts of chemistry part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 14. Now we'll understand something called limiting reagent. In a chemical reaction, sometimes we see that you have reactant 1, reactant 2, right? It gives product. So if let's suppose this guy is less, for example, in this reaction, we know that 10 grams of this reacts with uh, 20 grams of this to give product. So you keep these 20, but instead of 10, you make it 5. What will happen? After 5, after this guy is exhausted, this will not be able to react. So this guy will act as a limiting reagent because this guy is lesser in quantity than required. So for a, for a, for example, in this typical reaction, 10 grams of this was, and 20 grams of this was required to form some product. So instead of 10 grams, this is only 5 grams. So after all these 5 grams is consumed, this is not there. So reaction will stop, right? So this guy is limiting the reaction and that's why it's called limiting reaction. So that means you can see that in a chemical reaction, the reactant, which is present in lesser amount, then it is required, right? It, the one which is present in lesser amount, it get consumed after some time and no reaction take place. Even if you keep adding these guy, the reaction won't happen, right? Because this guy is not there. Thus, that particular reactant is limiting reagent because that guy limits the amount of reaction. If you put more of these reactions, will get start because this guy was less in quantity, right? So this guy is all over. Now, even if you keep pumping this, nothing will happen because this guy needs reaction one, uh, reactant one to react, but rea there is no reactant one, only reactant two. So the reaction won't happen, right? So in the reaction, the the reactant which is present in lesser amount than required that is called limiting reaction. Please note, it is not, for example, I tell you, there is a reaction where 20 grams of reactant 1 and let's suppose 5 grams of reactant 2 was required, right? Now instead of 20, let's suppose I have 10 grams of reactant 1 plus 5 grams of reactant 2. In this case also, this guy is my limiting reagent. Plus, it, but if you see, this guy is 10, this guy is 5. So don't just compare these two numbers. See, you, you can't say that in this guy, this reaction, this guy is 10 grams, this guy is 5 grams, so this guy will be limiting reagent. It is not the case. The case is for 5 grams of reactant 2, 20 grams of reactant 1 is bad. But in this case, I have only 10 grams. So you have to just find how many grams of reactant 1, how many grams of reactant 2 are required. Then you have to find, if you find the ratio, which one is lesser? So in this case, for 5 grams of reactant 2, my 20 grams of reactant 1 is required. But in this case, I have only 10 grams of reactant 1. So this guy is my limiting region. Though 10 is more than 5. Right? But this guy is my limiting reagent. So don't just compare the numbers of all the reactant and say the one which is lesser is the re limiting reagent. That is not the way. The correct way is you have to find the chemical reaction. You need to find how many grams of this, how many grams of this are required. And then based on that, you have to find that, for example, in this case, this guy is x, this guy is 20, this is 4x is required, right? So if this guy is 5, this has to be 20. If this is less, so this is a limiting reagent. We'll take some examples of limiting reagent. So we have 5 kg of nitrogen, 10 kg of hydrogen are combined to form ammonia. We have to find the ammonia gas form and you need to find the limiting reagent in this situation. So if you see my reaction is something like this, my N2 plus H2 gives NH3. Let's balance this. This is N2, 2 ammonia, 2 nitrogens, I'll make it 2, 6 hydrogen, multiply by 3, 6. This is a balanced equation. Correct? So this I have. 50 kg and this I have but let's see how much it is required right let's find the uh, let from this reaction I can say that one mole of N2 requires three mole of H2 correct so one mole of N2 is 20 grams plus two 20 grams of N2 requires 3 into hydrogen H2 is 2 that is 6 grams of H2 so I can say that 28 grams of N2 required 6 grams of H2 correct so 1 gram of hydrogen requires how many grams of nitrogen 
28 by 6 grams of nitrogen. So I have 10 kg of hydrogen. So 10 kg of hydrogen will require how much? 28 by 6 into 10 into 10 by 3. Correct. This many grams because I am in grams only now. And that is nothing but 46.67 kg. I made it kg now. Correct. So my 10 grams of this requires 46 kg. But I have 50 kg. So if you see, this guy is extra. This guy is extra, but I am looking for limiting region which is less. That means this guy is less. See, in this case, I found that 10 grams of hydrogen required 46 kg. So this 10 grams of hydrogen will react. 46.67 kg will be gone, but remaining will have some 3.33 uh, 3 kg left nitrogen and there will be no hydrogen left. So hydrogen gets consumed early. So hydrogen is my limiting region. I hope you understand this part because in this case, I found that one gram of hydrogen needs 26, 8 by 6 gram of nitrogen and 10 kg of hydrogen needs 46.67 kg of nitrogen. But we have 50 kg of nitrogen. That means once this, uh, once the 10 grams of hydrogen is consumed, this many grams of nitrogen consumed and remaining is left. So nitrogen is left. Hydrogen gets consumed early, right? So hydrogen is the limiting region. Now I got my limiting region. That becomes my critical thing now. Now I have to find, so first question is done, identify the limiting region. We have to find calculate ammonia in form. Now since my hydrogen is limiting reagent, I have to rely on hydrogen. I can't rely on nitrogen because whole of the nitrogen is not consumed. Correct. I should rely on hydrogen. So I can see from this reaction, 3 mole of hydrogen, 3 mole of hydrogen gives 2 mole of ammonia, 2 mole of NH3 or 3 into hydrogen is 2, 6 grams of hydrogen gives 2 into uh, this one, how many mo uh, is the molar mass of ammonia? Ammonia will be uh, nitrogen. N is 14 plus 3, 17 into 2. That is 34. 2 into 17, that is 34 grams of ammonia. So 6 grams of hydrogen gives 34 grams of ammonia. So I can say that my 10 kg of hydrogen will give how much? 34 by 6 into 10 kg of ammonia and that is 56.66 kg. So that is my answer. Please note in this case I am relying only on hydrogen because hydrogen is my limiting reagent. So I say that my 3 moles of hydrogen gives 2 moles of ammonia that is 6 grams of hydrogen gives 34 grams of ammonia that is 10 kg of hydrogen gives 56.66 kg of ammonia. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.